Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And today I'm going to be talking about Super Lemon by Alex Ng and Henry Harrius. Before I do this review, I'd like you to like and subscribe. That's what I'd like you to do. And I'd also like to go and check out onlinemagic.co. Over 800 videos on there. I've been saying that for ages. Probably 900 now, but don't quote me on that. Because um, people don't like it when people don't say the exact right thing, do they, at the moment, <laughs> in the magic world? Uh, so have a look at that. That's been out for 10 years. That's my membership site. And uh, have a look at the testimonials. I'm not going to say have a look anymore because I want you to go and have a look at it now. Right. Uh, it's very good. I'm very proud of it. And it's you know, live sessions every week, by the way, with lots and lots of special guests. So like and subscribe. I said that, didn't I? Already said it. Don't repeat yourself, Steve. It gets tedious. I performed this at a close-up gig. I talked about it um, a couple of months ago. And it's kind of a stage routine, but I wanted to see if it worked at close, in close-up. And I was really interested in the concept because it's got that moment in it, which a lot of magic tricks have, but that thing of that kind of moment of, hey, it, it's kind of like a, a, a surreal weird moment. It's not just wow, it's like a surreal bit, which really appealed to me. So what happens is somebody, you say... Um, well, it depends what presentation you do, which we'll talk about in a sec. But somebody chooses an apple, right? Chooses a piece of fruit, and you can set this in different ways. You get a lemon out, and you can either do the joke thing of going, oh, wrong one, or you can do it a completely different way, as I did. And you go through this whole process of getting them to visualise eating a lemon. You've got a knife. Imagine me cutting the knife, and, the, and you... You uh, bite in the lemon and get all that, all that kind of lovely visualisation stuff. You can talk about influence. And I've influenced you because you've thought so strongly of that stuff that you haven't realised that this knife I've had in my hand is actually a fork and this lemon I've had in my hand is actually just a rolled up piece of paper. I love that moment. That moment is just so... The fact it, it becomes something so crude... You know, it's like it really almost feels like you have influenced them. Have, have I just seen that? It's like it's like a, a, a very hallucinatory, isn't it? That thing of I thought seeing a lemon, and now it's a, it's just a bit of paper. It's like that thing of you know when if you kind of walk along in the dark and you see something, you think it's a snake, and then you realise it's just a host. But it's kind of that sort of thing. It's something very rustic and basic, and I really, really like that. And then you unfold a bit of paper, and it's got the item that you forced on it, which is an apple. Or the, when you get this, you're going to start getting different ideas. Could be something else. So in this, you get a lemon to use. You can use a normal lemon, but it is nice to have a really realistic looking and very lightweight and very tough, you know, it isn't going to break lemon to use. You can do it at any time. And it is handy that, you know, a lot of people say, why would you do it with a fake lemon? It's, you know, when you're working or you, you've forgotten, it, it, believe me, I've forgotten many things at gigs. And it's nice to have that in your case, ready to go. You also get the, the gimmicked piece of cutlery, which is a very important part of it. And you even get a couple of bits of paper in there, I think. Um, well, I did, but that might be because I'm special, but you just use any um, yellow paper. I read and watched the download of this, sorry, and went out and did it without practicing. I'm not saying you should, but because I used that kind of misdirection in the way it's done quite a lot, I just felt that I could and I wasn't wrong. It's super easy. It's bold because if you haven't used misdirection in that same way before, you're going to think, am I going to get away with this? Because it does feel too easy you absolutely will just don't rush relax and the misdirections built into the routine routine wise i think it's okay that you force an item right? but you can do it in any ways it does give you loads of ideas you can it gives you some cards which are quite nice actually it's quite a nice idea uh, to use these cards and you can use them in uh, as two forces here there's this which someone can look at and just pick a fruit and they have actually a genuine choice of more than one or you've got a deck that you can use, which is very easy. No skill required at all. I liked using Digital Force Bag. And so he mentions it, and I thought that's actually a really good way to do it. It's um, Yes, it uses a phone, but the phone's you know it's completely in context. And uh, and the, the presentation I used was different. I didn't do the joke one, but I do quite like that, of kind of going, oh, not lemon then. All right, then, fair enough. Well, let's do something with this. But I did a thing where I said, OK, I want you to, you're going to pick anything and I'm going to try and get your mind off of that thing. But it's amazing how hard it is. And I would do the, the routine and you've got to, want to imagine, you know, biting into the lemon. You're still thinking of the thing. Yep, still thinking of it. It doesn't work, does it? To make you change your mind and really forget about that, I would have to do something amazing. And actually, I have done that because in all this, I've really taken your mind off what I want you to, 
uh, concentrate on because you've missed the fact that this isn't a knife at all and then, then you go into the routine. And that worked really, really well because it's almost based on truth and I wasn't in the right environment to do the kind of jokey thing. I wanted to do something a little bit more psychological. So it, it's more versatile than you think. And then once you've learned the concept, again, you can start you know, chopping and changing things and, and getting your own, um, even using different props. You know, Henry Harris has got a really good eye, hasn't he, for kind of finding things that, and knowing that it's going to work, that people are going to like it. And, and this is no exception. It's just great. Yes, I love his cube stuff, but I like the fact he's bringing other people on board like Alex and, and kind of, you know, helping to promote their stuff. This is based on a Florian Severin idea, by the way, from What Lies Inside, which I haven't read. And I, I learned some details on the um, download. Uh, but check that out as well, if you like. I think this is just a little bit more sort of, there's less you have to do for this one. So really good, really great. Uh, it does work in close-up if you're sort of stood back from the table. Uh, you are going to need a jacket for this. You're not going to be able to sort of walk around doing it in a t-shirt. That does help. Uh, but And it'll work on stage as well. I think it'll play very, very big. So um, nothing negative to say about this. It's a corker. So there you go. That's Super Lemon. Thank you, Henry, for sending that to me. I do use the links below and uh, go and check out now onlinemagic.co. If you're going to Blackpool and you're watching this in real time, see you there. Um, but if you're watching this in next year at the real time, I might see you there as well. And if you're watching this, oh, shut up, Steve. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>